Hello everyone, and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, how many planets are there in the galaxy? So, I don't know if you've noticed, but the Milky Way has a heck of a lot of stars. But we don't really think about how many planets there are in the galaxy. Take for example our solar system. It has eight planets, and that is just from one star. On a clear night, it can be quite a breathtaking experience especially if you have no clouds and zero light pollution. When you look up at the night sky, you see thousands of little dots. These are stars that are part of our galaxy. But on any given night, no matter how good the conditions are, we can only see a fraction of the number of stars that exist in our galaxy alone. But for nearly every single star in our galaxy, there is almost certainly planets, and lots of them. In our galaxy alone, there are billions of stars. So there must be billions of planets out there, surely? To answer this question, we need to understand the galaxy. And to understand the galaxy, we have to talk about numbers and talk about some assumptions that we have to make. So firstly, we've actually discovered thousands of planets in our galaxy. But the only planets that we've deeply studied are the planets that reside in our own solar system. So with eight planets being in our solar system, is that more or less than the average star in our galaxy? So let's take an assumption that eight planets that exist within a solar system is about the average of the Milky Way galaxy. The next step is to then multiply this by the number of stars that exist within the Milky Way. This is rather quite a hard thing. I mean, calculating the amount of stars in a whole galaxy, it's gonna be quite tricky. So astronomers make estimations. This is due to the fact that we can't actually see every single star. And also, we can't see the Milky Way galaxy from the outside. From what we know, the Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy. This basically means that the galaxy is in a spiral shape and it has a central bar running through the center. So by knowing these parameters, we can make an estimated calculation on the mass of the galaxy and then we can estimate how much of this mass is made up of just stars. So if we run through the calculations, we calculate that the galaxy contains between 100 and 200 billion stars. So doing the maths, the Milky Way galaxy has between one and two trillion planets. But some estimations can give you a number as high as eight trillion. To categorize the planets, we need to understand exactly what type of planets we have found and how many. The Kepler Space Telescope is one of the best instruments that we have to discover new planets. As of the 17th of November 2016, astronomers have confirmed the presence of 3,414 exoplanets. And this includes 575 multi-planet systems, meaning that it has more than one planet going around its star it also has potential candidates, and this checks in at 4,696. Some of these planets have been directly observed, in a process known as direct imaging. However, the vast amount of detection is seeing them indirectly, using things like the transit method and radial velocity. Some astronomers watch the gravitational influence or tugging between a parent star and its planet. Astronomers then measure how far the star has moved back and forth, and if the star has moved quite a lot, they can safely assume that there is a planet orbiting that star. And from these numbers, you can calculate the mass of the planet. In the case of the transit method, planets are detected when they pass directly in front of their star, causing it to dim. From this, you can figure out the size and mass by just seeing the dipping in the dimming. The Kepler mission seems to be the most sophisticated instrument that we have to detect planets. It's observed over 150,000 stars in our galaxy, but now Kepler has moved into a new phase of detecting. This is also known as the K2 mission. During this phase, which started on November 2013, Kepler would be focusing more on the K and G class of stars. That alone represents 10 billion potential habitable planets that are the size of the Earth. 
Meanwhile, the analysis from the K2 mission suggests that one quarter of the largest stars surveyed may be Earth-sized planets orbiting in their habitable zones. These type of stars make up about 70% of the stars that are found in the Milky Way. So you can make a great estimation that tens of billions of potentially habitable planets are in our galaxy alone. And hopefully in the next coming years, new missions will be launching, like the JWST. These missions will be able to detect even smaller planets orbiting fainter stars, and maybe even determine if there is life on them, and can certainly analyse their atmospheres. Once these new missions have been launched, there will be better estimations about the size and number of planets that orbit a typical star. It seems like planets are more abundant than stars in our galaxy, so scientists are using physics to work out the mass, the size, and the amount of planets in the galaxy, we'll be using chemistry to analyse the atmospheres, and hopefully biology to analyse life. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into how many planets are in the galaxy. And if you want to know any more about our galaxy, exoplanets, or simply life outside of planet Earth, also known as astrobiology, I'll put some links in the description below. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.